We're going to take a look and see how we can improve our pet portraits. Uh, this particular image, it's my daughter's new puppy, Millie. Very much a grab shot taken with a very small digital camera. We've got this area here in shadow. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to brighten up this area. Now to do that, let's come over to the layers panel. We're going to use Command J or Control J. That's Command J, Control J to duplicate that background layer. Next, we're going to come up to Enhance. We're going to go to Adjust Lighting. We're going to go to Shadow and Highlights. Now, when we click on Shadow and Highlights, you can see the way it brightens up because with the light and shadows, the default is set to 35%. But I'm going to take this up just a little bit further to that area there. We can see we just brightened it up around here and around this part of the ear as well. Dark and highlights, no, don't think so. So leave in that where it is. Midtone contrast, just a touch with this, perhaps to that area, plus six. Switching the preview off and on. Yes, like what that's doing with the image. So let's click OK to that. Right, the next thing I'd like to do is just remove these lines here from the tiles. So we're going to put in a new empty layer. Let's come over to the toolbox. We're going to pick up the spot healing brush, which is this one here. Let's go down to the tool options. Now with this, I've got a 40 pixel, perhaps just a bit small. Let's take it up brush. Let's take it up even further into that area there. That should do nicely. Now with the spot healing brush, I've got the content aware that is ticked. This is the important thing here. Make sure you have got sample or layers ticked. Right, let's fold that down out of the way. Let's bring my brush up to this area here. Now, a quick way of doing straight lines is to click down. So click down with your mouse or pen. Now press and hold down shift on the keyboard. So hold down shift on the keyboard. Release your mouse or pen. Bring it up to the end of the straight line. Click down and because you held down shift on the keyboard, how quick and easy was that? Right, once again, clicking down holding down shift on the keyboard, releasing your pen or mouse, clicking down. It actually takes longer to say than to do it. Right, clicking down, holding down shift on the keyboard, coming up to that area there. And you can see it does a fantastic job on these nice straight lines, something like that. Just cleaning up that there. And that's not going to worry too much because we will be painting over the top of this in just a second. This is going to be interesting with a shadow. So let's click down here, holding down shift on the keyboard and clicking down. And what a fantastic job that has done in the shadow area. Absolutely brilliant. Right, so this should be okay for the size of the brush. I was just wondering as I click down, should I have gone for a larger brush? Well, we'll soon find out. And yeah, um, nah, that's okay, I can get to, yeah, get away with that, I think. Just clicking in this area, just removing that little bit of a mark we had there. Zooming into this part of the image, I have still got the spot healing brush, but if you press space bar, now command or control, look at the way you now get that zoom tool. We can pop into this area here. Let's come and click there. Holding down shift on the keyboard, bringing it down to this area, clicking down and in it pops and just going over that just going to go over it by hand now. Going to be a little bit creative. I'm going to drop the size of the brush down. So I'm going to use the left hand square bracket to reduce the size of the brush. I'm just going to remove that part. Just clicking in there as well. Just coming over this area here. Being a little bit creative as far as these whiskers are concerned. I'm not going to worry too much about them. Sorry, Millie. Yes, they're going to have a little bit of a trim. Um, but over those there right and there it is just about done using command zero control zero we're going to go out to fit on screen right no need to look so worried Millie okay for the next stage we're going to put in another new empty layer layer three what I like to do by the way is to name the layer so you know exactly what you're doing with them and I'll do that just a little bit later but for this particular layer I'll tell you what while we're here double clicking where it says the layer name this one layer three we're going to call this one painted because we're going to be painting on this layer so let's pick up the paintbrush and bring in my brush over quite a small brush let's make it a bigger brush by using I'll tell you what let's go down to tool options there it is there's the paintbrush 
I've got a soft edge brush. Now when we click on this, I'm gonna to go to a 300 pixel soft edge brush, brush even, which is that one there. Press enter or return. That'll remove that panel, stay. Using that 300 pixel, the opacity is set to 100%. Let's drop this down out of the way. And you think, hang on a second, I'm gonna be painting with black. I want to use this color from this area here. How can I select it? Press and hold down the Alt or the Option key. Look what happens to your paintbrush. It is now changes to the target brush. Take a look, we've got black. Now when I click down with that target tool, look at the way it's changed to that color there. You'll notice we've got bright white behind. So this is the color we're using from the image itself. I can now come over and I can paint around this. I'm using a soft edge brush, so I don't want to get too close to uh, Millie's fur there. I have gone over it. You may notice a little bit of a fogging effect. Don't worry, I'll show you how to remove that in just a moment. Coming around this area. Now, luckily, because we've got uh, the shadow, that's given me a little bit of a creative license to come in like this. And you can see how we can brighten it. But coming in not so much into the shadow area, just want to brighten it up very slightly. So just holding it away from the edge, just allowing that soft edge brush there to come in and just give that a little bit of a feathered effect. In fact, I'm gonna come in around the ear, just taking that in a little bit further like that. That looks better. Great stuff. Right, and around there one more time. Let's come in this part of our picture around there, which is why I wasn't too worried about the effect when I didn't pick up all of that uh, tile with the healing brush. If we just come around here and something like that, just again, holding my brush on the outside of that shadow just to give it a little bit of a an effect in there and round like that. Great stuff, right. Now, where I said over this area here with this, uh, we got that very slight fogging effect. Just pick up with the eraser tool. Don't forget we're on a new empty layer. So that eraser tool, and this is the advantage of using new empty layers, using layers, it will allow you to come into the image. It will allow you to clean up, for example, a shadow area there. If I want to take it out a little bit further, I can. I can now pick up the paintbrush again and perhaps just go over that, just taking it like this here would probably be a little bit better. And there it is. So using that new empty layer, using the eraser tool, you can come in, you can clean it up, you can make any adjustments, but that looks pretty good like that. Happy with this so far. Right, now the next stage I want to do is, so uh, next thing I want to do even is to give it a painterly effect. We're going to be using a plugin. So what we have to do is put in a new empty layer. We're gonna put all of these layers into this layer here, layer three, let's double click. We're gonna call this effect so we know exactly what's going to be on this layer so hold down the alt or the option key hold it down alt or option we're going to go to layer we're going to come down to merge visible and because you're holding down alt or option all of these layers have just popped into this one new layer here right if i just switch these off you will notice there is no difference there's a checkable background if i switch that off and switch these back on again you can see there it is exactly the same right filter Topaz Labs, we're gonna go down to, and we're, where are we gonna go? We're gonna to go to Simplify 4. Right, now with Simplify 4, when that opens, we're going to be using the Buzz Sim. And as you bring your cursor over these, you'll notice the way you get that preview, showing you exactly how it's going to look. The one I'm going to use is the, uh, the Buzz Sim, the one at the very top. That looks pretty good. Coming up to the 25%, if you click on it, you get a fly up menu. I'm gonna to go to 100%. And yes, like the way this is looking, just bringing it up into this area here. Oh, those eyes. We've got the features boost set on zero. Always make a note of the, uh, no second thoughts number. So make sure we go back to zero with that. Detail strength, let's bring the detail into this area here. Let's see what that's gonna do with our image. Just a little bit more of the fur coming through like this, dropping it back very slightly, just waiting for it to drop into place. Something like that 
there would be pretty good. I'm not going to touch the rest of it. Uh, you've got other things like the colors, the saturation. No, I'm going to leave that exactly as it is like the way this is working. So we're going to go down, we're going to click on OK. Now this takes a few seconds. So probably what I'll do is I'll just pause the video and then restart it once we get back into elements. And there it is, we've now arrived back and there is Millie. Let's go into 100%. Now a very quick and easy way of zooming into 100% is to use and press down Command or Control. Now use number one, so press on number one and in we pop. And there it is, just pressing the space bar. We can zoom around and there's that rather nice painterly effect. What I'd like to do with this is just give it a, a, little, a little bit more emphasis to her eye. So we're going to put in a layer mask. There it is. You can see there's the layer mask. Got the paintbrush, which is just a bit big. We've got black now as our foreground color because we're on the layer mask. Using the left hand square bracket to make the brush smaller. And I'm just going to go over this area here of the catch lights. You can see there it is, the light coming in just a little bit in there as well. That looks better like that. If I just switch this, you can see the difference that makes to the image. We're going to put in one more layer again called layer three. We're going to call this one texture because we're going to add some textures to this. Let's go up to edit. Let's go down to fill layer, fill layer. We're going to go make sure you choose 50% gray. We're going to click on OK. Right, you can't see the image. Don't worry, I'll get it back. Let's go to filter. Let's go to texture. Let's go to texturizer. And when texturizer opens, uh, we're going to go to texture. There it is there, texturizer. And if you just right click with a hand tool, you can now go to 100%. So that's what it's going to look like. I've chosen sandstone here. You've also got canvas, burlap, brick. And yeah, I'm going to use sandstone, probably my favorite. Nice bit of texture. Let's click on OK. Right, we're going to change the blend mode from normal. And if we go down to soft lights, that will allow us to see through it. There's the texture. I like what that does to the image. And the other thing, the other reason, should I say, is why I've used texture, because where we use the solid paint here, it is solid paint. When you, If you print it out, it just doesn't look right. So uh, use a little bit of texture. Don't forget, you can use the opacity just to pull it back a little bit should you want to. Let's take it down to that area there. Let's use command zero, control zero. That's command zero, control zero to go to fit on screen. There it is. There is our finished image. Don't forget, save it in layers and you can rename all these layers. Let's just call this one clean. So you know exactly what you've done on the layers, but save it in layers. That is important. You can then make any adjustments, but go on, give it a go. We're going to right click. We're going to go to a black background. I'm going to press tab on the keyboard, which will remove all of those panels. Don't forget, press tab to bring them back again. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.